Hello everyone. The exercise for today is going to be this wheel and we are using the revolve feature to create the, the model. So to use that feature, first we need to sketch the cross section of the wheel. So I'm putting the the cross section information to the to the side so you can follow the steps. So let's begin. Let's create a new part. And we're going to change this time the units to uh, two millimeters. Let's hit OK. Now let me bring back the cross section information and using the front plane, we're going to create a sketch. I'm going to provide a few center lines using the origin point. And these center lines are going to help me with the mentioning at the end. Um, so now let's start sketching. This is going to be an approximation. We will provide dimensions uh, after. Since this uh, is symmetrical, I, I am only one, going to work on the uh, upper section and then we will revolve at the end. So this dimension here is 120. This one here we can make it 15 millimeters. It's going to be 45. Since we have the center line, we, we get the diameter uh, dimension type. So this is going to be 70. This right here is 7.5. Now let me create a circle at the top. And this is 40 millimeters radius. So let's make it 80 in diameter. I'm going to make this align with the origin point. Let's make that zero and the distance from that to the center is 130 or we can use the 260 dimension we need a couple we need a couple more lines to finish up the sketch and we should be ready for mirroring so we need this line down right there and the distance from the center of the circle to this intersection is 50. Let's move this up a little bit. Or we can provide dimension here. Let's make this 5. Okay. So after we do that half of the sketch, we can um, we can use the mirror entity to to mirror all, all the lines. So let's select all the lines that we just created and mirror about the center line that we just made. Let's hit OK. And we can trim a few lines that we don't need, such as that one. And it looks like we have a um, sketch completed so let's hit ok next we are going to use the revolve feature and it's right here let's click on that under the axis of revolution we are going to select an axis um, around which the feature revolves this can be a center line an edge or just a regular line since we created a center line this is the line that we're selecting. So let's select that. Under direction one, we are going to select blind. Uh, this is going to create uh, the revolve in one direction from the sketch. And uh, let's keep this 360 degree. Direction two, uh, this is optional. And um, this is going to define the uh, revolve feature in any other direction from the sketch plane. We are not using that for this uh, for this problem. So let's hit OK. 
So we have um, almost a completed tire. Uh, we need to um, we need to create on uh, these threads on top. So for that, we can just go back to the sketch and add a sketch. And those threadings will be right here. So let's create uh, a few circles. And this threading dimension is depending on your requirement. For us, we can make this seven, seven millimeters in diameter. Let's create another one here. I'm going to make this circle and that circle. I'm going to make those equal. And um, let's provide a another dimension here. And we can make this 20. Let's trim. We're going to trim this. We can hit yes. And uh, we can uh, we can mirror we can mirror this circle here that we created and mirror about we can use the same center line as before. Let's hit OK and trim. Let's hit OK one more time. And this is how you um, sketch the cross section of the of the wheel and use the revolve um, revolve command. So um, after we do that, we can we can apply a uh, an appearance to the to the rubber section. So an appearance defines the the visual property of a model, including color and texture. Uh, appearances do not affect the physical properties of the model, which are defined by the by the material. So with the control key, let's select all the faces that we would like to apply the appearance, including the threading. So let's select one by one. So after you select that, let's go, let me maximize this. Let's go to the appearance uh, table. And um, right here, we're looking for rubber appearance and probably under texture, there is an option for tire thread. So let's double click on that. And all the faces that we selected are now um, are not going to appear with the tire thread appearance. Um, so that's how you apply a texture. So there is one more thing that we need to add to this wheel and those are the some holes at the at the center of the model. So for that we can go to the right plane and let's create a sketch. We're going to create a reference circles and anytime you use a line or circle for reference, we can select that for construction. And let's provide a dimension on this one and let's make this 120. Now let's apply a circle and this is going to be 20. So once we have that, we can we can use the uh, the circular pattern inside the sketch, or we can use it um, on the features command. So let's hit OK. Now we're going to create a cut using that uh, that profile, and we're going to use through all both because we want. Uh, to go in both direction and let's hit OK. So we can use now the um, circular pattern feature 
and the direction we're going to select this uh, circle edge and we are going to specify um, four instances of that cutout and let's hit OK. That's how you create the cuts on the on the wheel. So if you want to apply a different uh, appearance to the to this section of the wheel, you can repeat the same steps. So with the control key, we're going to select all the faces that we want to uh, apply the appearance. And let's go back to the appearance menu and let's select metal and let's try polish still. As you can see, only the selected faces were changed and not, if you notice, not the back because we did not select that, those faces. So this is how you um, create a wheel using a revolve feature. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching.